Jadon Sancho is gonna be a topic at Borussia Dortmund. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, we touch on Barcelona and their potential for a signing for the summer transfer window. Also something to say on Jadon Sancho, Benjamin Cesco and Lois Openda. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start today's video by mentioning uh, Jadon Sancho and also some other player playing in Germany because there is a lot of attention on Bundesliga. Jadon Sancho uh, scored his second goal for Borussia Dortmund against Red Bull Leipzig. Five goal contributions since he rejoined Borussia Dortmund in the January transfer window from Manchester United. We already said that Man United received a good amount of money in terms of guaranteed fee, but also add-ons after Borussia Dortmund reached the Champions League semi-finals. Now, I wanted to remind you the intention of Borussia Dortmund. From what I'm hearing, Borussia Dortmund really, but really want to try to keep Jadon Sancho at the club. Obviously, if they will play Champions League football next season, this will be easier in terms of budget to try to negotiate with Manchester United. Otherwise, it could be tough and it's not easy at all. But at the same time, Borussia Dortmund want to try. Borussia Dortmund will try in a conversation with Manchester United. They know that the player is keen about staying at Borussia Dortmund. So they want to make an attempt. Let's see how the conversation will go. Let's see when it's going to take place. Because now the focus is obviously on Champions League, on the final games of the season in Bundesliga. But Jadon Sancho is going to be a topic at Borussia Dortmund for sure, in the next weeks and also at Manchester United. So let's see what they will decide to do on the same game. Uh, again, uh, Open Da scoring, Benjamin Cesco scoring. Leipzig have, as always, a lot of talents, a lot of good, fantastic players. I wanted to clarify that my information on Open Da, uh, despite many rumors on the player who is doing very well in Bundesliga, he scored 28 goals in all competitions this season, doing fantastic for Leipzig. But the release clause into the contract of Openda, from what I'm told, is not valid this summer. It's valid starting from next summer, 2025, and is 80 million euros. Leipzig at the moment want to keep the player, they're super happy with him. So I think a move in this summer transfer window is unlikely or complicated because you would need to negotiate with Leipzig and there is no release clause and we know how tough it is to negotiate with Leipzig when they want to keep their players. And then there is one more, Benjamin Cesco, who scored again four goals in his last four games. He's performing at top level. This is a top talent. We already mentioned many times that there are several clubs keeping close eye to Benjamin Cesco. We always say it about Arsenal. We always say it about Manchester United, scouting the player. So for sure, their interest remains. But I always mention especially one club, Chelsea. And Chelsea remain keen on Benjamin Cesco. They still have to decide how much they want to invest on the striker. So this is why Ozyman, Cesco, different kind of strikers being considered at the club. But for sure, the interest is there. Is a player that Chelsea have been tracking for more than two years, Benjamin Cesco in this case. And so let's see what's going to happen. But for sure, they have this name into the list. And in this case, Leipzig expect that this summer something could happen around Benjamin Cesco. Then let's see what uh, Leipzig will decide to do in terms of discussions. And then, guys, important to say about Barcelona. I wanted to update also about Barcelona because it's been an important week for Barca, with Xavi staying at the club, and Barca moving the first steps uh, towards their potential first signing. Potential because it's not a done deal, uh, and we know that till the end some deals we have to wait, especially with the free agents, for the contracts to be signed. In this case, Barcelona are advancing in conversations to sign Guido Rodriguez from Betis. The midfielder, the Argentinian midfielder, who is out of contract in the summer transfer window, many links with Napoli, Atletico Madrid were interested in November, then nothing happened, and now Barcelona are really interested in Guido. What's the point? That Barca want to go for Guido as an opportunity. So they are still tracking important pivots to give Xavi an important player in that position. Then let's see with financial fair play what will be possible for Barcelona. But Guido is seen as an important opportunity. So Barca had positive contacts in the recent weeks. They started to advance in conversations over potential verbal agreement. So the contract proposal, as anticipated by Sport in Spain, is almost ready. Two years contract with one year as option, Guido is keen on the move, but now it's on Barca. Financial fair play, some crucial steps internally before saying, okay, let's go ahead, let's sign Guido. At the moment, they are considering him as an opportunity, they had conversations about the contract, they advanced on the terms of the contract, but still not a done deal, still an opportunity that Barca are discussing internally. 
And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Jadon Sancho, Luis Openda, Benjamin Shesko, and Guido Rodriguez. Do you want him at Barca or not? Let me know your opinion, guys. Hit in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.